Welcome ladies and gentlemen, it would seem Netflix could be in some massive doo-doo because the real life Martha from Baby Reindeer is going to be suing them. Hmm, that's if you believe her lies, allegedly. So here you have it, this is an exclusive to Deadline. Although we've kind of heard this already, you know, in the pipeline. But for those that don't know, Baby Reindeer is a supposed a real life story. It's framed as real life. It says this is a true story. And it does paint the Martha character, who was, uh, you know, a real, supposedly a real person who came forward and said, yeah, this is supposed to be me, as a convicted stalker. And so as a result of that, Netflix is now being challenged. You must provide the evidence of this. Um, so, yeah, interesting. I would say as well, if you haven't watched Baby Reindeer, watch it. It's quite good, actually. I enjoyed it. I had a good time with it. It was very funny, but also just batshit crazy and very bizarre. But here you have it. Exclusive. A British lawmaker has challenged Netflix to provide evidence for the claim that Baby Reindeer's real-life Martha has a stalking conviction. Because basically, she's going to sue them for over a million pound. I think the sum was like two point something million. Quite a, a lot of money. Uh, it says here, John Nicholson, a Scottish National Party MP who sits on UK Parliament's Influential Culture, Media and Sports Committee, said Netflix had a duty to back up claims made in Richard Gadd's true story hit series after Martha was identified as Fiona Harvey. In a letter seen by Deadline, Nicholson asked Benjamin King, Netflix's senior UK Director of Public Policy, to provide evidence of Harvey's criminal record after he told the committee that Baby Reindeer was a true story of the horrific abuse suffered by Gad at the hands of a convicted stalker. Now, the reason why this is so, so well, the reason why this is kind of becoming an issue with the MP, Member of Parliament, is if you lie to a Member of Parliament, you are in contempt. So I guess kind of similar, you're breaking the law, basically. It's the same as like if someone lies to the Senate or I think it's in, in the States. It's similar anyway. Um... And this real-life Martha person is actually, well, from what looks like, for all intents and purposes, building a case against Netflix as well. So this is just another string in all of this. So it says, Nicholson wrote, Journalists have thus far been unable to find a record of the conviction to which you referred. Can you provide me with the evidence for this serious claim which you made to me at the select committee? Nicholson stopped short of alleging that King had made a misleading statement knowingly making untruthful statements during select committee hearings can result in being held in contempt of parliament in the UK and the alleged stalking conviction is at the heart of questions facing Netflix and baby reindeer Martha played by Jessica Gunning is portrayed as pleading guilty to stalking and being sentenced to prison since being identified Harvey has denied the allegations and a lawyer acting on her behalf said there was no evidence that she has a criminal record for stalking so Chris Dore Casey a barrister working with Harvey to build a lawsuit, so yes, it's, there is a lawsuit happening, told Deadline, portraying someone as a convicted criminal who has done uh, has done time in prison when that is not true is a pretty clear-cut case of defamation as it is bound to cause serious harm to that person's reputation. That's the part that would cause harm to your reputation. Huh. All right. There's significantly more than that that would cause harm to your reputation. I mean, this woman just opens her mouth that causes harm to her reputation. She is a walking defamatory machine. Anyway, Dor is assembling a team of lawyers in the UK and US to pursue Netflix, producer Clerkenwell Films, and baby reindeer creator Gad, but is yet to be formally instructed by Harvey. I wonder why. So Netflix is not responding to inquiries relating to Baby Reindeer. During last week's committee hearing, King said Netflix took, and quote, every reasonable precaution, quote, to protect identities. Senior sources in the UK television industry have scoffed at this notion. And a former high-ranking BBC executive who has experience in compliance procedures on factual dramas said Netflix uh, should have changed details including Martha's profession and her nationality. But I do think the, I think the point was for these people to be outed. And, I mean, if they did what they did, that's fine. So Baby Reindeer is in many ways a British success story made by Clerkenwell. It exploded on Netflix 
amassing nearly 65 million views since debuting uh, on, what was that, April 11th. That's more views than... Uh, yeah, that's more views than uh, that absolute bag of crap that Snyder created recently, isn't it? Hmm, that's quite funny. Anyway, um, it was Netflix's top English language series for three consecutive weeks. And here's the full letter, by the way. So it says, Dear Mr. King, at your appearance on 8th of May before the House of Commons Culture, Media and Sport Committee, I asked you about the Netflix series Baby Reindeer and specifically the duty of care uh, due to the woman now identified as Martha from the series. You told me the following, and quote, Baby Reindeer is obviously a true story of the horrific abuse that the writer suffered at the hands of a convicted stalker. We did take every reasonable precaution in disguising the real-life identities of the people while striking a balance with the veracity and authenticity of the story. Journalists have thus far been unable to find a record of the conviction to which you referred. Can you provide me with the evidence for this serious claim, which you made to me, at the Select Committee? Why do members of Parliament care? What on earth? Piss off at people's lives, man. Seriously, go away. Go away. They don't do anything good for the country. That Oh, bloody I hate members of Parliament. They're the worst things ever. God, I seriously... Really? Anyway, so this is the other part of that story, by the way. Is Baby Reindeer's real-life Martha has not heard from Netflix as she works with senior UK attorney to build a lawsuit against the streamer. So this is what was said... Uh, this is the sort of case that's happening anyway. So Baby Reindeer's real life Martha appears to be making good on a promise to sue Netflix, but has yet to hear from the streamer despite being identified against her wishes and claiming to have received death threats and unwanted attention. I mean, you did appear on Piers Morgan uncensored. You came forward. You kind of added yourself, but whatever. So, Chris Dor, Casey, a barrister, barrister working with Fiona Harvey to build a lawsuit, told Deadline that Netflix has failed to contact her in any capacity after she was thrust into the media spotlight last month. She thrust herself into it. He said the series, which has amassed more than 65 million views since premiere, premiering, raised serious questions about Netflix's duty of care standards. He called for a major review of its compliance procedures. You know what? I'm, I'm really happy that they're not subject to Ofcom Netflix. Like... Go away, government. Go away. The least... In le Seriously, government does nothing good. Ever. And yes, I know that there's some that they do that's good. Blah, 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 blah. But by and large, they're terrible. Especially ours. Um, so that's it. I mean, there's not really much else there. It just says, you know, portraying someone as defamation, etc. Uh, and it says there are strict laws on the use of a person's image for commercial gain, particularly in the US, which we do not seem to be seem to have been considered they didn't use your image i mean they got pretty close to it but they didn't use it anyway there you go um i mean they don't yeah they look similar but they're clearly not the same uh baby reindeer lawsuit against netflix could be pretty big actually especially in the uk that could, that could genuinely change the sort of shape of streaming moving forwards in the uk but I don't think it'll I don't think it'll happen because then it means that this would have to apply to every single streamer. And there'll be there's too much money involved for that to be a thing. But who knows? What do you guys think? Did you watch it? What did you think? Let me know down below. <sighs> I got thrust into the spotlight. Mate, you've been loving it. Piss off. <laughs>